welcome to my channel in today's video i will show you how to create a dynamic dashboard in tableau showcasing data on a map and a bar chart our final product will look something like this i have made three separate videos covering three elements of this dashboard which will include a map a bar chart and in the final video i will show you how we can prepare a dashboard using both these elements the data that i will be analyzing is extracted from speedtest.net and uh, it gives information about the fixed and mobile speed across different countries as well as the percentage change in the mobile and uh, fixed broadband speed in different countries since march 2020 or since the covid started in our first video i will show you how to create a condition cluster in a map and how we can make it dynamic using parameter let's begin now so the first step is to click on country which will show you the longitude and latitude in our rows and column section now choose map type with filled colors from show me tab the next step is to create clusters we need to create a calculated field here it totally depends on you how many clusters you want to create all you need to do is define a range accordingly now based on my requirement i have created five clusters and i will using i will be using if then else condition to create these clusters here so first step is to create a calculated field we will name it as a uh, color condition clustering the color condition uh, clustering that we are making here is for broadband speed broadband speed change and uh, for the purpose of uh, saving time i have already copied this and i will explain it to you how this is how the calculation uh, uh, goes on so for as i have already mentioned i have created five clusters so the fi fixed speed change is fixed broadband speed percentage change here if it is greater than 90% then the range would be greater than 90% if it is if the percentage speed change is less than 90% and greater than 60% then we would define or name the range as 62 to 60% to 89% and this is how the range ranges the other range for fixed broadband speed is defined we see that the calculation is valid here we click on apply and okay now to see if the clusters are created we move this color condition clustering capsule to color marks and you can see that the changes are made here you can see that we have one other range defined as null is nothing but in the data if we do not have any information regarding the percentage speed change for fixed or mobile broadband a uh, fixed broadband or mobile then it's defined as null whereas we have information about it in other columns therefore if you want you can just ignore it or click on it and hide it now you can see that the clusters are created for fixed broadband speed change now what if you want to show the range for mobile speed in the same map here the dynamic parameter would come into the picture for that we have to create a parameter we will name it as parameter selection data type is going to be integer allowable values would be list value is 1 if fixed broad band speed 2 if mobile speed 
that's it we click on ok and we can see that our parameter is created we click on parameter selection and click on show parameter and currently it's not working so in order to activate our parameter selection we need to create another calculated field we will name it as percentage change case and we will use the case statement here here is parameter selection when one then sum of fixed product sorry fixed broadband speed change when two then sum sum of mobile speed change and the case statement why do we have an error here because we forgot the parenthesis now the calculation is valid we click on apply ok done the our parameter is activated now the next step is to make some changes in our color condition cluster calculated field so in order to make it dynamic what we need to do is uh, similar to the calculation in fixed speed change we will create another condition for mobile speed change all you need to do is copy paste the calculation of this fixed speed change and repl replace the fixed speed change with mobile speed change we can follow the same steps for all the other sections as well i have already done that in my word doc so i will just copy it and paste it in my calculation field now we see that our uh, color conditions are created in order to make the these color conditions dynamic we have to apply the case in our parameter so case statement parameter selection when one then the fixed speed change will be selected we are following the same parameter um, condition that we have in our parameter selection so when two then mobile speed change and we will end our case statement we see that the calculation is valid here click on ok now we will see if our parameter is working or not so when we click on mobile speed yes it is working you can uh, edit the colors in the formatting tab of the color marks and give each field the colors of your liking so if in case you don't like the existing colors for example i don't like the 90 percent greater than 90 percent color and want to make some changes into that maybe i can mm, apply it here and done so this is a video on condition cluster and dynamic parameter in a map uh, yeah one more thing if you want uh, currently you can see that the in your map you can just see the name of the uh, country as well as condition clustering what if you want to see the percentage change so all you need to do is drag percentage change case in tooltip and currently it's into decimal format so in order to change the format right click on the 
capsule formatted into percentage you can see that now you can see the percentage change case as well so this was the video on condition cluster and dynamic parameter in map in my next video i will show you how we can create a bar chart with rounded edges in tableau and how to apply a dynamic parameter using the same data if you like this video click like and subscribe to my channel and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below thank you